Hi, I'm Vicki Hoff and this is Kathy Zimmerman. She is a member of the Technical Solutions Team. Correct. I, I could say Technical Solutions Technician. Correct. Yes. 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 But yes. Kathy is amazing. She helps, probably has helped a lot of you on the phone lines to correct issues or help any problems that come up, any problems. we and get the so, call. <laughs> because she is the expert on this subject, because she knows how to do it so well, I've asked Kathy to join me today in helping you if you need to install version 91, version 91. on your Pro Stitcher. Correct. Okay, okay. so the floor okay. is yours. So version 91 has changed from our past updates, where we are actually going to update some of your Windows software. Um, we have to do that because your Wi-Fi, your wireless has been disabled to prevent automatic updates from corrupting a ProStitcher. Okay, so why would a person, because there's two versions, 92, okay. 91, why would you, you choose 91 over 92? So the they are unique to each tablet. So you would need to go to the website, identify your tablet to determine which one, which, which tablet Our you website, have. Handy Our website, handyquilter.com, mm -hmm. and there is pictures, you can easily identify your tablet. Newer tablets need more Windows updates than our older tablets do okay. to be compatible with Pro Stitcher programming. Okay, so and what, that's why we're doing That's this. what we're doing. Um, updates also are really important because they address issues that come up during software development. Um, they also, if there's a new feature, mm -hmm. you'll only get it with an update. So you want to keep current on your updates. Um, I don't dread it when people to. call and they say, I'm on version 20. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> get so, up to at least 79. <laughs> exactly. Get the new patterns. Oh, so, really new features, simple to do. Yes. You're going to go to handyquilter.com and you're going to go to downloads. You want to, when you hover over to downloads, you're going to see a pop up and you want to go to the HQ Pro Stitcher software update. Select that. We have a nice chart that helps you. Identify your tablet. Um, the older ones, the EEE PC, Acer W500, and HP Omni are going to take version 92 of the update. Acer W700 and Aspire Switch 11 need 91. So this tells you which one you right. need. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Um, it's not going to hurt to put 92 on the other tablets, but if you put 91 on the older tablets, you might have to re-image your tablet. So you want to avoid that. You want to okay. be really so careful. Choose the tablet that you mm -hmm. have. And, Correct. Okay. Okay, so we simply click on, we have instructions we can print. You can have step-by-step -step printed out beside you or on your laptop. Does this have to do, if I have a netbook, would this go on my netbook? 92, no. 91 I know would not. No, but 92 would. Right. 92 would, 92 okay, would. Yes. so I'm just. Okay. okay, so we're going to select our download. It's gonna take you to a Dropbox file. The common mistake here is save to my Dropbox. Um, we don't wanna do that, we want to download. So we're going to select download. It's going to tell us it's downloading. This one is a large installation, so it takes a little while to download. So okay. be patient. This whole process. And it will Patience download that. Key. You're on a Windows 10 computer, mm -hmm. so it downloads it to... My particular setup, it's going to go into my downloads folder. On um, an older computers, it would ask you where you wanted to put it. Yes. And then you you bring up a browser, and then you would or a, you would decide Correct. if you're putting it on your jump drive. Right. Because you're eventually going to put it on your jump drive right. anyway. Right. I like to unzip it because it is a zip folder. I like it to is. unzip and it. Everything yeah. has to be unzipped before it goes to the Pro right. Stitcher. Just so on my Windows 10, designs. when it's finished downloading, I get my message: Do I want to open, open in folder, or view downloads? And I want to open in folder. Now because gonna, then you need to unzip it. Right. That's going to okay. take me right to where it saved it. Oh, that's really good. Okay. There it is. I have a folder, and I can tell it's zip because it's a folder with a zipper, zipper. on it. Mm -hmm. That's key on this one. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to select extract all. Now I can tell it where to save it. Okay. Because I want this to go to my jump drive, I'm going to go ahead and change my destination. Select browse. I'm going to scroll down to my computer, find my removable drive, select it, and extract. I also have, as my default, show extracted files when completed, so it will let me know right where it okay. is when we're done. Okay, wait for this. That's going to take a, a little bit because yes. it's the whole new version. Correct, yeah. It's downloading two Microsoft files right now. 
we're going to update your Microsoft Visual C++ and your .NET Framework 4.6. And that's you gonna, just lost me. Yeah, that's gonna <laughs> that that's got to go on there for in order for your tablet now that's to why communicate Kathy's with your doing this and not me. <laughs> and we're almost done. All right, so now I'm done. I can go and check. I'm, it took me right here. I see my designs on my stick. It took okay. me right to my removable drive, and I see my update. I have a little H beside it. I now have a little PSU icon. I know now that it's an executable application. And that's what I want to see. So I am going to safely eject my USB. Okay, it's safe to pull it out now. I can take it over to the Pro Stitcher and start my installation. Okay, let's move okay. on. Okay, now we've got that USB stick. You've right. placed it in here. On that USB stick is the update. Right. Now I have a question for you before we get started. Okay. You mentioned earlier that if you were a, a customer and you hadn't updated from version 21 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do I have to update every one, 52, 79, 92? No. Beginning with version 7, 9 um, in 2015, those are all incorporated. So you can update the entire. From all the way, from to, the all beginning. The way to the beginning. All the way to now without doing the Aren't steps. Aren't we lucky? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's a good question because I know that we have that ask all the right. time. And so we have the latest, which on this one is 91 Correct. because of the newer version of tablets. Right. And we can check our version by going into settings. Okay. Let's see what we have on this one. Advanced about. and about. So right there, a little pop-up box right above your key file is it's your version. 79. So version 79. Okay. And when I'm calling the version, I'm looking at the last three digits of that number. So okay. we have the date followed by the version. All right. Oh, that's the way we read that. Mm -hmm. 15 is 2015, 15. the sixth month, right, June. and then the version mm -hmm. 079. Right. So now we know where we are. We know we need an update. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and exit that. We're just going to go into our design file now and we're going to access our Windows File Explorer. That's the easiest way to do this update. So we are okay. going to use our on-screen keyboard. Close my about. Okay, we're going to select the Windows key and the letter E for Explorer. Windows Explorer is going to pop up behind the keyboard. Carefully close the keyboard so you don't close your Windows Explorer. <laughs> and I'm going to maximize it so it fills the screen. What I need to do now is access my removable disk. I come down to my computer I have my Acer C, which is my tablet. Right below it, I have my USB. So that's it uh -huh. as well. If uh -huh. I double tapped on right. that device yep. with removable, then I can do that. Right there. Okay. Okay, that selects it. I see my um, PS update on there now. This one we also have to run as administrator, just like when we install simulator. Okay. So on your tablet, it's a little trickier because we need to run as administrator, we have to right click. How do you right click without a mouse? Press and hold. Press and hold. So we're going to select it so it's blue. We're going to hold our finger just to the right of the execute. Hold it. On the bar there. Come on. My finger's still too cold. Okay. And the little square comes up. When you see that, you release. I select it. There it goes. <laughs> Nope. Her fingers are cold. Mine. <laughs> you might, Mine have, to, a little you might warm. have to click for me. Um, we didn't get it. So that is a left click. That is just a single tap. So we'll close that. Okay. All right. We'll just touch it and we're going to touch that and I'm going to hold it. Square. And there we go. Okay. And that. Your third option down is going to be run as administrator. Do you want to? And you want me to touch that? Would you please tap that? that? <laughs> you know, we do have those capacitive stylus that we could be using. Could but be. <laughs> our finger's always with us, isn't it? <laughs> run as administrator. Okay. Did I just close that I out? I think you to give it a minute. This is a really cumbersome program, so let's give it a couple of minutes. Good. Okay. Now we just now, wait for this. How yes. long does this take? Um, this can take, depending on the speed of your computer, anywhere from a couple of minutes to 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, well, if it does take that 15 minutes, we are going to go get a drink. Right. Have and a we're going to come back, and it's going to be a drink that we don't it's have to It's going to be a hot about. drink that warms up our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go put, change the laundry out. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. we're ready. It's checking our version right now. And it's seen that we have version 7.9 installed. And we're asking us if we want to update to 91. We have three options. We have repair, start, and cancel. We want to select start. 
So we are going Good. to. Okay. Okay. We have to choose our machine. This We're is on a fusion. fusion. Mm -hmm. So it all automatically found, found it for right. us. Right. We're going to do next. And it is really important that you choose your machine because right. each machine, as you go up, has more features that you mm -hmm. want to take advantage of. Right. So yes. definitely choose okay. your right machine. We're going to confirm our installation and our installation begins. Right now it's checking our files and copying them. It's going to go through this. It's going to launch the Microsoft Visual C++ software that we need to install so we have to agree. Okay, so you put install. a little check. Mm -hmm. Check that box. I agree. And, and then, then I'm going install. to install. It's going to Start the installation. Kathy, I'm so glad you're walking me through this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're really glad too. Yeah, because yes. Because this will be great for you. Right. Okay, when I close the box now, it's going to begin extracting files. This can also take several minutes. People think their computer is hung up, their tablet's not working, and they'll shut down. If we shut down mid process, it's going to cause issues with your Pro Stitcher. And you're and going to get a call. You're, yes, you're going to be calling so me. So be patient. <laughs> be patient. Okay. All right, because I can see it's just slowly starting right. there. And yeah, with the, oh, there we go, preparing. Yeah. And if this takes longer than 15 or 20 minutes, there is something going on. You will want to cancel, call Technical Solutions or your retailer. And you can And they help can help, it. yeah, okay. figure out what's going on. All right, we can be patient. We'll go get the next drink. Right. Or change the laundry again. And put it in the dryer now. <laughs> yeah, yes. put it in the dryer. That's right. Oh, see, that okay. went pretty fast once it got started. Once it gets started. Okay. We'll hang here for a little while. There it goes. Okay. Okay. The next thing we need to do is our Microsoft um, .NET Framework 4.6. Don't ask me what that means. We just need to <laughs> install it. I'm so glad <laughs> you are my friend today. <laughs> All right. So we are going to agree and accept again. We're You're always my friend, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're going to install. Okay. Okay. And this one's a little faster. Now, this one's going to ask us a couple questions. And the first thing is, do you want to allow it to close these programs? One of the programs on this list is your Pro Stitcher updater. We don't want to close that. So okay. we're going to say, no, you cannot close my programs. Okay. It's going to do the installation now. This is another one that takes <laughs> several minutes. Okay. Get it another drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, and a new load of laundry. New load of laundry. Be patient Oh, with now this I have one. to just iron the laundry. Or does anyone Nobody press Nobody irons anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I still do. <laughs> okay. 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 Our installation is complete. And we're going to go ahead and finish, and we're going to get another question. And it says, you must restart your computer in order for this software to take effect. That's we haven't installed thing. Pro Stitcher yet, though. We've only updated Windows, and we want to install the Pro Stitcher updates. So we're going to select Restart Later. Okay. Oh, now our okay. installation's complete, and because our program will auto launch, it's going to go right into Pro Stitcher Launcher. You can see it at the top mm -hmm. of your tablet. Um, but we're going to get an error message because we haven't finished installing the .NET framework. We haven't rebooted the tablet. So we wait for the launch, and it will take longer this first time for Pro Stitcher to launch than it normally does. So okay. be patient again. This then is a very just... patient update. <laughs> <laughs> but it's well worth it. Well being worth patient it. For. Well worth okay. it. Okay. Okay. So right there's my error message. Please install the .NET Framework 4.6. I'm just going to close that box. So you don't say okay. Nope. Just going to close okay. it. Okay. All right. Now I need to do a reboot. The easiest way to do that is down at the bottom on your little bar and touch your power button. You're going to get an option to shut down or restart. We want to restart. Okay. This is going to restart our tablet. It's going to finish our installation. Which we see that every time we right. do. Uh, yeah. If you're doing your home laptop. computer, you're mm -hmm. updating mm -hmm. Windows, this is what you're going to see. Okay. So it will complete this, reboot, and then auto launch into Pro Stitcher. Okay. And, and that's it? That's it. So once this reboots, we are good to go. I can just start quilting again. Yep. I always like to go into Settings Advanced and, and about sure that it double says check that it says 91. 91. Okay. But that's it. Oh, that was that was a little time consuming, but, but well worth what you're going right. to get out of it because there's fixes, there right. are new updates, you know. Yeah, this is a really crucial one. And it's not a mm -hmm. lot of, like in June we did a big update. Lots of extra of features. Right. We're not a adding features, a lot of features, but, but we are some correcting fixes. some software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see that all the time with right. computer software. Right. Okay, so it's coming back up and 
holding our breath. Yep, yep. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, if you do shut down Visual C++ before it's finished, you can usually tell because when you go to load a design, it will show you you have a design loaded, but you won't see anything on the screen. So if that happens, you can run this installation again. Remember when we looked at the first screen, we saw a repair option. Uh -huh. Select repair and run the process again using that. Or call you. Or call me. <laughs> Her number is. <laughs> OK, so, All right, so I want to know for mm -hmm. sure. So I'm going to go to settings, settings. and advanced. Mm -hmm. And then about. And about. And on there now is 16, oh, which one. is 01. So the this month. year, mm -hmm. January, and then version 91. Update. And we're good. We're and set. we have updated, and you can start quilting again. again. Thank you so much, Kathy. You're welcome, Vicki. Thank you for having us.